we're going to be jumping right into this. There's a mod called the Imperial Legion Dragon Scale Armor. This is made by Sabbath6100. Now, when I saw this on the Nexus, I had to download it immediately because you know it's not every day that you get armors for the male characters, and I just thought that it looked really cool. So, uh, upon installing it and putting the armor on, I noticed that the textures were like really low quality, and in most cases, that doesn't really bother me too much, but what standed out to me the most was that there is a large clipping in the helmet area. So if you have any hair on your character's head, the hair will clip through the helmet. What made it even worse is that the hair that was on my head was a vanilla hairstyle. So I assume that any hairstyle that you put on the character's head is gonna clip through this helmet. So that sucks. If you really wanna take advantage of it, I would suggest you make your character bold. Alright, so next up is the backpack mod, and you know I love my backpacks, so every time I see them I have to cover them. This is a mod made by Turlim Vampire. This is the Bone Hunter backpack. Now, you can craft this at a forge. Uh, when I looked at it, I saw the backpack and I thought that it was the same type of backpack from Wet and Cold with some troll and bone pieces added onto it. Now, the thing that stood out to me about this mod was that the textures of the backpack actually look high quality but then when you look at the bones they look low quality so it's like a mixture of high quality and low quality textures and that just didn't really sit well with me the backpack provides you with 200 extra carry weight which is really useful and if you're just a big game hunter type of guy this might be the backpack for you all right so next up we have the mod made by anukith this is called Juliet the Noble. She was a follower. She is the distant cousin of Elsif. You can find her in the Blue Palace. When I walked up, she was sitting in one of the chairs next to the Firebeard guy. So the character seems to be pretty basic. She's your standard archer, but if you get too closer, she will switch to, to her daggers, and she actually loves to use them. She does not mind uh, getting down and dirty, and she loves to do those cinematic kills. So when I was using her, I was using her on a normal character. She will start at level 10 and she will scale alongside the character. She doesn't seem to have any spells, which is actually pretty good because you see that a lot on uh, followers. So if you're into somebody who's just like an archer and, you know, a dagger wielder, this might be the character for you. Alright, so that's going to do it for this video. If you see any more mods on the Nexus that you would like to see me cover, just let me know and I'll check it out. And uh, let me know what you think about these mods that are shown in this video. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.